If you are watching the time, it is now 11 minutes to 7 o'clock. Today is a very significant day for the Kosovo people of South Africa when Zuelonke Sikrau will be coronated as their king. These are some of the live visuals that are coming through now from the Eastern Cape. You can see that the singing and the dancing has already started. It's the first coronation in 50 years for the Kosovo nation. He'll be the 21st king when he officially takes office. His father, King Zueli Zulile, died nine years ago and preparations for the event have now been finalized. It's also the first event of its nature since the advent of democracy in South Africa 21 years ago. We now cross to Eastern Cape Assignments editor Tommy Dixon, who is at the Inkadu a great place in Willowvale in the Eastern Cape. A very good morning to you, Tommy. It's celebrations galore in the Eastern Cape. Well, indeed, Valian, good morning and welcome to the great place. We are out here in Nadu in Willowvale uh, to witness the history in the making as this nation is about to enlist their king who will rule over the Kosovo people now going forward. It's a great moment here and as you can see um, the celebrations have already started um, coming here. We've seen already the string of cars uh, which tells you that it's going to be a very busy day the celebrations are underway as we speak as you can see the group uh, the traditional dancers uh, they are welcoming the guests as they move in here so it's going to be a very very interesting day but to tell us more about what is expected today i have with me here um the family spokesperson or the family representative uh, Derek, um, who's going to tell us more about what is expected today good morning sir um how's the day looking like what what can we expect um the actual event to to start Start. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tommy Dixon, for allowing us as a family at least to share with those who might be very far from where we are seated. We're looking at the day, the day itself. Uh, it's quite uh, beautiful and uh, it's promising. And listening then to the people and looking at the uh, cultural uh, dress, right. and uh, people seem excited, right. expecting a lot during the day. Right. So we are looking to quite a very exciting, great day, historic day. Now, this coronation, what is exactly that's going to happen? Can you just give us a picture of what the king is going to do today uh, that is so significant to this event? Well, it's more of an anointment of a king, which will be done in our tradition and custom by the right-hand house, the house of Kakhabe. And that is going to be done by putting what we call umnueba, uh, silo, that being the skin of the leopard for traditional chiefs, but for a king who then rules over all the chiefs, then it becomes a lion skin. That will be at least put uh, on the shoulders of the king. Now, what does this day mean really? I mean, this whole event that finally we know that uh, it has taken quite a couple of years before you get to this point. Uh, what does it mean that you have been able to really get um, the coronation yeah, to get underway? We know that uh, the father died a couple of years ago and over that period, uh, um, what does it mean that you have been able now to do this? Well, first it speaks to our identity as a Kosa people and it speaks to our unity, it speaks to our heritage. It speaks to us as a Kosa people in terms of having a king, a person who's up there, who then give us that uh, pride and understanding and leadership in terms of our traditions, customs and customary law. Well, thank you very much. Um, we'll be able to speak about these things as the day progresses, but for now, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We wish you all the best and enjoy the day. All right. Now. All right, Valian, that's the representative of the family here, um, the Sikao family, uh, who tells us really about what should we expect in terms of the coronation itself. Um, it's been quite a long road, a long journey before they got to this point, after the father actually died um, in 2005. It has taken them 10 years, uh, really, uh, before they got to this point, but they will be able to unpack all of these things as the day progresses. But for now, it's a beautiful music from the dancers um, who are actually showcasing what the Kosa people are about, uh, the cultural events and the traditions um, of the, the Kosa people. But before then, and, and as they, we go out of this set, and 
All right, man.